I'm not able to see it, though. Right. Okay, so, so we have... First pick is uh, uh, Jaina on Kaze, uh, Kaze playing as Jaina. Blue team, uh, Penn State Blue is picking Tarlock on Vala, Chilla on Rhaegar. Yeah, that Jaina's Buck actually going to... I feel like that Jaina might hurt... Uh, that Jaina pick might hurt... Uh, Synth bit. Synth plays mm -hmm. a lot of Jaina. Mm-hmm. And they were using Jaina effectively in the previous games. You can see Buck Nasty picking up Sylvanas. Graves Robert taking Tyranda. Ooh. They're pretty squishy so far, though. Mm-hmm. Well, there looks like they're saving their uh, warrior picks for last. Which makes sense. There's a lot of warriors to mm -hmm. choose from that fit into a uh, high Very true. Bright wing. Oh. Okay, we'll see a bright wing coming in. And uh, Synth as Zagara. Let's see. Uh, Penn State Blue also leaving their warrior pick for last. Yeah, Brightwing coming in on top of the Rhaegar. That is a lot of healing coming in. Mm -hmm. Rhaegar, I'm having a feeling that Rhaegar is going to be picking up his Bloodlust ult this game. To improve Vala and Zagara's attack speed, they can put out a large, large amount of damage. Especially with Brightwing already being picked up, that's a lot of healing that he does not have to do now, so... Mm -hmm. Rhaegar can focus more on utility, a little bit more on... Aiding rather than healing. Sylvanas, though, a strong, strong pick. I'm just trying to think Taking of... Out. Who's going to be that last pick? Do you think it might be a Stitches, or...? I would love to see a Stitches played. Although I don't honestly know how well Stitches would fare with this team. That's true, but... Maybe I like think. an ETC to lock people in place. Hopefully another... An ETC might uh, work out better to allow <laughs> Vala to just completely wreck with her all. Ah, uh, very true, very true. Actually, um, for Penn State Blue, stitches could work fairly well. I was uh, talking Indiana. I should have uh, uh. specified my apologies. Uh, but for Penn State Blue, stitches pulling any one of their picks, Jaina, Sylvanas, Taranda so far, right into the middle of Vala and Zagara. Oh, oh, that just spells. Oh, there's nasty. the ETC pickup right there, as you were saying. All right. Yep, and that's just. That large oh, AoE ult picks it up. Oh boy. Not a lot, a lot, of, lot of healing. Yeah, a lot of healing. And then there's the Stitches pick up. There we go. <laughs> Father <laughs> Kimchi on Stitches. We I've seen some games where, uh, when um, during the group stages where he was just dominating with those hooks. We even saw in the one game we casted that his hooks on Stitches were amazing. So let's see if he's able to uh, keep it up. This is going to be a pretty cool game. I'm glad to see that stitch is being picked up. And I guess we just wait for uh, the final game to come set. So we're going to see this mm -hmm. Jaina was our first pick by... Um, mm -hmm by Indiana here, so it would be pretty interesting to see if that's what they really want. If, like, maybe that was just the main thing. Maybe Jaina is their main source of damage. That's really all they are looking to do. Because Jaina's AoE, her kiting potential is amazing. Mm -hmm. well, we're starting in Garden of Terror. This is going to be an interesting map to watch. Yeah, Garden of Terror is one of those interesting maps where it's like you have to decide when you want to go after those bosses and which one to go to because there's two separate ones and either could really work out. And this is... I'm, I'm looking at the team for Penn State right now mm -hmm. and it's looking really, really strong. I love how I can't even see what, who the, their first pick was, mm -hmm. which I believe was the Vala. Or no, we saw the Vala. Mm-hmm. So the bright wing. Well, it was the Rhaegar who we didn't see. Could well be. We are loading into game Garden of Terror. It will be interesting to see how they group for uh, 
plants and seeds, how they push, whether or not Sylvanas will stick with the team, or if Sylvanas will end up against Zagara, since both do like to push and split a great deal. First game between Penn State Blue and Indiana, starting gates open in 25 seconds. We have four Penn State Blue on the left side. Zagara, Stitches, Vala, Brightwing, and Rhaegar. On the right side, for Red seconds. Team, we have Indiana playing with Sylvanas, Malfurion, Five. ETC, Jaina, and Tyranda. Let the battle begin! I have it on Penn the State. camera on the mid lane while I just fix one thing quick. Mm -hmm. There we go, everything seems fit. Ooh. Indiana looks like they're sending three, four down into the bot lane early on, leaving Zagara alone in the mid lane. Interesting decision. Yeah, well, Penn this, State this is showing the t mm -hmm. Penn State showing the typical two one two split for lanes. Zagara sitting back just inside of XP range, not pushing out. Malfurion heading mid now. Poor ETC up in the top lane all by himself. This is a pretty common thing that we haven't seen this Sylvanas being um, mm -hmm. basically supported by two other characters, just allowing them to siege like crazy. Mm -hmm. And a good oh. hook already coming on, and that's going to stop Sylvanas from doing a good amount of damage. And yeah, they're saving their towers for now. Just a few moments. I hope you're ready. Yeah, the thing about Garden Terror is Sylvanas is a great pickup because you have to worry about, hey, we can go and get the boss now, but wait, where's Sylvanas mm -hmm. at? Yep. That's something you always have to think about. Sylvanas is down in the mid lane to help out since Valkyrie was being pushed in. And Scar right there is another one that just completely just just does damage over time to structures. Yep. Zagar and Sylvanas, two very, very powerful split pushers. Night falls. Indiana, or uh, Penn State, make an early jump into the uh, top and bottom side. Indiana collapsing down towards the bottom. Looks like they might go for an early uh, boss plant. They might, which, um... A boss plant, how many seeds does the boss plant have? A boss plant is 60 seeds, each of the smaller plant camps is 15 seeds. Okay. For a total of 180 seeds, 90 in the top, 90 in the bottom. It looks like we are going to see an even split between seeds right now. No one really starting up the bosses just yet. But you, I'm pretty sure we'll see occasionally everybody's going to go by and check to see, make sure that the bosses aren't being taken. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine the nerves that both these teams have. Both these teams are 14-0 and 0 in the group stage, I believe. So these are two big teams that are fighting for their lives in this round of 32. It's, it's, it's kind of sad that these two actually faced off against one another so early, since I feel like both of these are top four contention teams. Mm -hmm. yeah. Zagara applying that lovely pressure of hers. Ooh, that's a lot of damage going on in Zagara. Mm -hmm. He was able to survive thanks to a Rhaegar uh, totem there. Um, chilling everything and... Not too much is going to happen because of it. Well, it allows uh, Buck Nasty on Sylvanas to get a good push going. With that uh, lovely trait of hers, just stunning those minions. Oh, we have bot lane Malfurion and Jana com or Jaina coming in. And um, not really going to be able to do too much. They take out the uh, Brightwing, which um, is going to take pretty low, but a lot of heals coming in. We do see Rayer coming in. They might turn this into a 3v3 fight, especially with... Um, who's that on the top there? Is that Sylvanas up there? That was yeah, it was Sylvanas. Sylvanas up there yes. popping back to mid lane to deal with that Zagara. And hey, we mentioned that Rhaegar Brightwing combination of heals. Brightwing was under half health. Two seconds later, almost full. Yeah, it's crazy how quickly they get that, and they have to worry about where everybody is. You see Mount Fury in there setting up a a bush of where someone might come by, but to Mount Fury, I don't see a Mount Fury and really can't do too much. He can lock down someone, yes, but that's mostly it. And this is a pretty early Bruiser camp being set up by Penn State right now. Mm -hmm. Good idea though, because it's going to um, 
allow them to put pressure elsewhere and possibly go after a boss. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's that bruiser camp, 418, pretty quick. Both teams fairly even in experience, uh, hitting level 7, picking up their talents. Yep, it looks like uh, Penn State is going for that top uh, plant bowl. And they're actually putting it down to half health already. This is a really good job by Penn State because we now just see um, Indiana now just starring the bot one and they might be able to contest it then because the top one's already finished. Yep. Well, Penn State is unfortunately not going to be down there in time, so both teams are going to have, it appears, yep. But a fight might break yeah, out. Right. And a good hook coming out onto Malfurion there by Stitches. And Malfurion's gonna be taking down really low. They're actually gonna get an early kill. There's the first blood going down onto Malfurion because of a good hook there by Father Kimchi. And now they're gonna keep pushing, but not much else is gonna come out of it. The thing though is Indiana was able to get the uh, it was able to get the seeds that they needed. Um, but that was still a great hook and gonna be good tower damage now for Penn State. Taking down one tower in the bot lane as ETC from Indiana takes a tower in response in the top lane. Great job there by Penn State too. Of, they were the first ones to be like, okay, yeah, let's take this boss, and then was able to respond when Indiana started there. So because of that, they're going to have a little bit of a hero advantage, but not that big of a level advantage. But being this close to level 10, that little advantage could be huge. Mm -hmm. All they need is to hit 10 a few seconds before Indiana does, and then Penn State can initiate a team fight if they time it properly. Now remind me, I'm not really good in like collegiate sports or and whatnot. Is Penn State and Indiana both in the in the Big Ten, or am I wrong? I believe. Let me check. I, they I'll might be. I so, want to say they are, but I can't be sure. I want to say they are too, but like, like I said, I'm horrible in like stuff knowing this, so maybe one of the yes, viewers could tell us in three minutes. Oh wait, they are? Indiana is part of the Big Ten, so hey, we got a Big Ten <laughs> game going on, guys. So yeah, this is like a, a collegiate rivalry now going into esports as well. Gotta love how these things work out sometimes. Yeah, but um, while we were figuring that out, both teams did hit 10 and nothing really came out of it. So this is still, this is an incredibly close game. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm surprised Rhaegar took Ancestral Healing instead of his Bloodlust. Oh, but that just means there's going to be so much. Ooh, it's gonna and I see why. Uh, Brightwing, instead of taking his Flash Blink, has picked up Emerald Wind. Oh, okay, for those, so. For those of those us watching who are uh, League of Legends players, Emerald Wind acts in much the same way as uh, Janna's ultimate does, pushing away enemies in the Nova around Brightwing. Well, we'll still dealing some damage. And while there's while that's going on, bot lane is taking a lot of damage, and Penn State is going to be able to get a tower. But here there's a lot of damage there. We do see Indiana coming in, and um, a good ult there by Brightwing. Like you said, that Janna ult push everybody out, but Brightwing is still going to go down. And now Chili on Rhaegar is going to get really low. He's going to go down as well. And now we have to see if Stitches can get it. But no, that is a good collapse there by Indiana. They're going to be able to pick up a kill, and they're going to oh. get a big lead now. That is a half level lead now for Indiana. That was a beautiful team fight. ETC ulted in an excellent spot. Uh, Taranda laid down her Starfall right on top of both Rhaegar and Brightwing. They were in a bad position. They got caught out and Indiana got two towers and a gate for it. Well played. It is time! So nice time falls as Brightwing bribes up a siege camp. So you got bribery as well, okay. So this is most likely we're gonna see that both yeah, both teams already have that uh, the plant ready to start going. But it's gonna be interesting to see if teams will get an early seed advantage now, or I guess not an early but a seed advantage after it. Uh, we do see Penn State starting up in the top while you see Indiana gain the bottom, so they might be even in seeds after this like, as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Father Kimchi backing looks like to pick up the plant, and Day Electron ETC backing up to pick up the plant. Two tanks heading back to be even bigger, even greener, even meaner. Exactly. 
So we're gonna see how they're able to do this. Um, Penn State actually has a two seed advantage. Doesn't really mean wish, but much. But um, yeah, it's gonna be a two seed advantage, and they're gonna have to protect this uh, mid lane with the, oh, here comes the plant already running in there. And here comes the kimchi on his plant as well. We're just gonna have a plant battle right now. And we're actually gonna see Indiana's plant terror getting down to about 60% already. And this might be good for Penn State. They might wanna fight this as soon as they push out the minions. <laughs> Everybody's in mid lane right now. Kimchi getting the plant drop, taking down the tower. Yeah, this is a lot of damage already coming in, and Sylvanas trying to get in there. Sith not able to get the heal in time. Rhaegar was just a little too late on that, and that's going to be a lot of damage. We see the plant tear dealing a massive amount of structure damage for Indiana. And it's going to be really close. The plant tear are both almost dead for both sides, but this is looking great for Indiana right now. Mm -hmm. They have an advantage. Alright. Oh, Father Kimchi goes down. Daylectra sitting back with just a sliver of health. There it is. Just hooking him to his death. Alright. Indiana falling back to their topside jungle, taking both bruisers and siege giants. Oh, it looks like Penn State's coming on in. Oh, they're actually going to go for this, and we have Stitches running in right away. The camp's not done yet, and they might be able to try to steal this if they wanted to, but they're actually going to go back. Kaz right there is going to get taken pretty low. Father Kimchi right in the middle of everybody. He's going to get the heal from Rhaegar. Fala is just destroying everybody. Jaina's going to go down, and now it's a 5v4 right now, but people are low on Penn State. They're trying to kill Father Kimchi on the Stitches, but Stitches barely survived. No, he actually goes down. But Buck Nasty right there, a little low as well, but we see ETC tanking it up for him. Malfurion in the top side, and they're actually going to be able to get it. But actually, no, this Bruiser camp has not been taken yet. Penn State might be able to steal us and kill Malfurion in the process. What a great job there by Penn State. They're able to take out or get the Bruiser camp. Wow, I, can't, I didn't realize that the Bruiser camp wasn't taken during all that. That was a little bit of a misplay. On Indiana's uh, side, unfortunately, they focus too much on uh, wrapping up that team fight instead of leaving one person behind for a few extra seconds to grab a bruiser camp that might have uh, benefited them more. They're going to get a good amount of uh, fort damage down as well. This has been a really close game. It can't be any closer. Knight is going to fall in five seconds, which basically means another plant terror for each team, unless. Mm -hmm. I don't think either team is going to really have a full control of the plants. And Penn State's nope. actually going to rush the boss down, it seems. No, they're actually going to go for the, the small camps first. Which, the same as Indiana, they're just going to start with the small camps while pushing out all of you who, on that bright wing, is going to deter them a tiny bit of time. Not really too much, though. Not Nothing mm -hmm. to uh, really stall a lot over, but... Penn State actually mm -hmm. might be going for this fight instead. They think that they could go for it. And I all of you, all of you right now is uh, just wasting time as they can. And, ooh, Stitches barely is going to miss it. And Penn State's actually going to go in on this. And granted, Indiana was able to pick up a lot. But, oh, all five Vala comes in. But Kaz is able to protect herself for now on that Janna. And they're going to try to go in a good amount of... Uh, uh, oh, what a... Man, what a Stitches grab... And it's going to be a kill on a bug nasty there. Sylvanas is going to go down. Both Garden Terrors are ready, but they're not going to get him just yet. Or they might just back off for the boss right now. Great job by Penn State. Great job to be like, you know what? No, we can fight this and going in on that. Penn State's going to take a decisive seed advantage. Oh, chill it back. Has come to life. De Electra as the plant terror up in the top lane, moving down towards bot, it appears, as he reacts to Chilla. Yeah, Chilla right there is going to do a good amount of damage. That's a lot of damage going in already onto that fort. And this looks like it's going to be a fort taking down while a fight is actually breaking out over the boss right now. And it seems like Pensei doesn't feel like they have to force it, especially with a plant terror there. 
I don't feel like this is the best use of the plant's hair. It is, it is unfortunately not a good use because at this point, uh, there are not enough seeds on the map for Indiana to pick up another plant terror. Granted, they were they able to stop. Rolling top. Granted, they were able to stop Penn State from getting another one. But look at this. He's pushing down. He might be on the keep already. And he's just going to keep going. Chili on this plant terror doing a lot of damage to this keep. And he might have to worry. The entire team is there now behind him. Mm -hmm. That lovely, lovely uh, sprint ability, though, of the plant terror. Enabling Chili to escape safely. And still, with a good amount of health, too. Um, granted, he only has 20 seconds left on this plant tear, but the plant tear for Indiana really low, and he actually gets hooked by Stitches, and this is not where uh, ETC wants to be, but he's able to get out pretty easily. It's an ETC. He's not going to die that easily. The plant tear oh. is going around to drop another plant. He just wants to do as much damage as he can, and that is going to be doing a lot of damage to the keep, but... Sadly, he's going, he's going to uh, run out of time, but he's going to be able to regroup with his team up in this top lane. Mm -hmm. Hey, Indiana's Siege Camp is back up, and their Bruiser Camp is going to be up in five. I want to see if they... There we go. Taranda has sight on them now, so Indiana may be collapsing. They might. Yeah, we have some... Oh, here comes ATC, and all this... Oh, that was, was his ult. He's gonna get gorged by Father Kimchi. I'm not sure if that's the one you wanted to gorge. And this is not a fight. I only can say one. The good ult is gonna stop two people though from Indiana. But they are back up after the Zagara. And okay, what the can they do now? They're gonna kill Jaina. There he goes. But Zagara is way out of position. The heal from Rhaegar doesn't come in on time. It's a 3v4 right now. But people are really low. But there was Vala as well. And Indiana is gonna pick up a four, three for one, I believe, out of that fight. Yep. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Vala focused a little bit too hard on chasing after Jaina. Put and allowed uh, herself to be to uh, get placed opposite her team from Indiana. But yeah, this is only a half level right now. I feel like this is going to come to the late game. Whoever has, whoever fights better in the late game, I feel like is going to win. It's. I believe it's definitely going to come down to uh, who has better plant control. Mm -hmm. who uses their uh, terrors more efficiently. Which I feel Both like teams. Penn State doesn't have the opportunity to get a plant terror without their opponents. Now, that was only the second plant terror to come out. When it comes time for the fourth one, if they keep getting advantage like that, they have a chance to get an extra plant terror on their opponents. Yeah. I mean, right now, Penn State has a 12 seed lead, which is... uh larger than the previous uh, go around. Yeah, I believe it was, what, a two-seat lead last time? Indeed. And this is now going to be the fourth night to come out, I believe. This is the fourth night coming up, so uh, we'll see. Unfortunately, Penn State has to deal with a few uh, Merc camps to be cleared out right now. Yeah, this is a they're good... going to be losing their bot lane fourth. This is a good push by Indiana, especially right before uh, the, te the night begins, because this is going to put Penn State in a very backward position, and Penn State, they will be able to get um, a tear out of tonight. It'll be really hard if they don't, but Indiana might get a really good seed lead, and it's up to Penn State, do they decide to just go for the fight, or uh, play it safe and go top lane? And Indiana, just hiding out, they're not, oh, this is going to be a great catch mm -hmm. for Indiana if they're able to get oh. it, but Penn State plays it smart and decides to go into the top lane instead. Mm -hmm. If Penn State plays this properly, they'll act, take an even larger seed lead. Mm -hmm. Which Indiana now has just started their boss. Mm -hmm. There is Penn State about it. Great job by Penn State. Now, they really didn't know Indiana was there waiting, but I guess they must have noticed something. Mm-hmm. So Penn State is going to have an even bigger seed lead after this mm -hmm. ten, after this night. Um, yep. Not too much, though. I believe maybe like a 15 seed lead. Uh, uh, they were ahead 12 seeds. Oh, and, uh, wow. This is a, a spare 15. They did. Holy crap. That's actually quite a bit. Oh, yeah. It would be a 30-point 30, 30 difference because it was a 15. That's right. Yep. So it, they have a third, uh, 42 seed lead right now. Yeah, that is huge. And we do see... Um, Father Kimchi again onto this terror. Um, mm -hmm. I, 
do you think they should just keep going right in the bot lane and get the open port? While ever they actually are doing the split push strategy that we saw earlier, and but while this is going on, we are having a 4v4 fight up in the top lane. A good ult by Zagara is going to come in and get one. But are they going to be able to get him as soon as they come out? But it's not going to be quite enough. Jane is going to be taken down a low. Penn State, everybody is really full. And here comes the Terrors. This is a pure 5v5 now. The Planet Terror comes in. The, the Planet's not going to do too much. And this is going to be a really interesting fight. What the plant, what the terrors are useful for right now in this situation, specifically for Penn State, is uh, not only can both terrors drop their uh, hero affecting seeds, Penn State can drop uh, their uh, structure affecting seeds mm -hmm. to uh, damage and stun the keep and tower. Yeah, Penn State, I feel like, is definitely in a better position right now. But it all depends on the keep going. The terror Penn State actually is in the bot lane right now, trying to get that OP keep. And Which he does. This is actually smart, because I feel like the terror really doesn't do much in a fight. He's really mostly just there for structure damage. And the keep yep. already going down, and Penn State decides to take that as a win and back off. And they might go for the mid lane now. Yep, yeah, getting a little bit of damage on there before that uh, plant dies. Good job by Penn State. They now have a little bit of an experience lead and they have a huge C lead one that basically means that they could possibly get another terror and Indiana doesn't mm -hmm. well next uh, time night falls Penn State can uh, fairly easily pick up two terrors We'll see how it goes. Yeah, they could easily get to Terrors. You are right. The hook from Stitches is not going to hit ETC, but ECT there is just going to jump out and go in the back line. That's a very close ult. The fight is going to start. Stitches is going to try something. Zagara ult is going to hit two. This is a 5v3 momentarily now. And ETC is going to get gorged by Father Kimchi, but Stitches is going to go down. The ult from Rhaegar again, not in time. But here comes the ult from uh, Vala. Going to be doing a good amount of damage. Right wing is healing as much as he can, but that's a one for zero for uh, Indiana so far. But oh, that's a kill on a Malfurion. Malfurion was a little too far. Now here comes ETC now, but how tanky is he? He might be able to tank it up. Here comes the ult on a Sin on that cigar. He's going to be able to heal up, and Vala is going to be able to kill ETC. This is now a two for one for Penn State's favor, and they're going to be able to go in on this. Just barely out of range, but they're going to push up, and Jaina just oh with that level 20 talent able to blink out of there but this might be a keep now for Penn State this is going to be big for them they have so much map pressure pressure now and now they're falling back Penn State is going for the top jungle going to take the siege camp with bribe and here's where they're gonna get two they're gonna get two terrors yeah I can't see them not getting two terrors they might get two te two terrors right now and deny any to uh, Indiana Unfortunately, they are focused. They are not sending anybody down to bot jungle. So Indiana looks like they will be able to get a terror. I don't know. Or at Penn least prevent Penn State from getting two. We'll see. Cause it all depends on if they're able to get the boss terror or not. Mm -hmm. No. But Penn State actually is not even going to finish off the terror up here. They actually are leaving a lot of seeds there as well. They actually might decide to just go for a win. Maybe they're thinking while. Indiana is going to be stuck here in the in the plant, basically in the garden, trying mm -hmm. to like catch them. They could actually just go and siege. They have the terror, mm -hmm. while Indiana doesn't. Well, Indiana's look like they're going to try a, a collapse on them. They have to get moving soon though, because they're just letting this keep go down for free. That's not what they want. Here comes ETC though. He's going to ult in, but he's already done it. Wow, Brightwing's going to go down already. Chili's going to take that. Rhaegar is down. There's all the heals, but we're going to see some people really low. Everybody is now invulnerable onto Indiana, but that's a lot of damage coming down. Synth is going to go down as well. That is already three kills onto Penn oh. State. Now we're going to see Vala going down soon. There it is. Father Kimchi is the only one left standing. What a big win by Indiana right there. Oh, this, this has the potential to be game right here. Father Kimchi right now has to try to stall as long as he can. They are chasing him down. They want to kill him. This is actually, Father Kimchi is doing a good job there. He's trying to stall as long as he can. He is mostly going to go down because now he's even stitches. He's still going to be able to stall them quite a bit. And there was 20 seconds there wasted chasing him. And now they basically have to go for seeds at this point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
they will have for at least 50 seconds. They will have a uh, a hero advantage on the map. And by doing this, they will also prevent uh, Penn State from being able to get a second uh, terror this time around. Mm -hmm. Retaking the seed advantage, actually, for the first time this game. See, so they are going to have a terror coming up, but the thing is, though, after all that, they don't have a keep anymore. Their core is exposed, while Penn State still has all three of their keeps up and a fort mm -hmm. left. But it's all defend. Can they defend against this terror coming up? They're going to get some uh, siege camps while they're doing that. Oh, they're focusing a little too hard. They're taking core damage. That shield is almost down. Penn State might be able to stop the backs, but that's a, it'll be way too risky if they do that. They do the smart thing, get the siege camp. But uh, yeah, core damage is going to be taken right there. It's only 3%, but it's something. It's showing that... Indiana, although they looked great in that last team fight, are still behind. They have to worry about yep. their core. But now, Penn State right now does have to play on the defensive. They have to worry about this terror. This terror can just take a lot of structures. But yeah, we do see Indiana, you're right. They do have that seat advantage. But at this point, I feel like it's basically up to anybody oh. but oh they try to catch on the terror not quite a good hook by stitches but they're not able to do too much about 20 percent down in damage right there but um that's still something they're able to whittle around that terror waste the time even because they weren't able to push at that mid lane they wanted to push the mid lane everybody else is focused on stopping these siege camps mm -hmm. and the and the bruiser camps that penn state has already gathered red team's core is under attack and they actually just going over the win penn state might be able to win it's a good hook is going to go on oh what a gorge too i believe that was Jaina it hit and they're actually going to keep going Jaina's going to be really low and it's going to be really close this is a fight to basically end it and we do not see ECT in the fight, but he's going to ult in so shortly. Father Kimchi is going to go down, but that is just one thing. That's just their tank down. Penn State has to worry. This ECT is going to come in. Sylvanas is going to go down. It's now a 4 on 4. Synth there is going to be low, but he's going to survive. This is now a 4 on 4 fight. The, heat, the health bars are relatively close, but Penn State might be a little bit behind. They're going to have to try to kite this one out. Rhaegar is going to be taken down really low. Rhaegar is actually going to go down. And are they going to be able to trade anything else? This was all for 1% of core damage. <laughs> I don't know if you saw it down in the bot lane when ETC, as day, when Daylectra had uh, Garden Terror going on, he canceled it, and then it looked like he fat-fingered his ult, because he ulted right on top of himself down in the bot lane. Oh no. And while this is going on, we do see the core down to 63%. Pense is just slowly and slowly bringing them back into this, or not bringing them back, but slowly and slowly whittling away that core. It is going to be really tough for Indiana. They're, Penn State's doing the thing we saw before is they are not capturing this, or they are not um, capping the camps. They're going to wait so they could cap them all at once. Mm -hmm. they're, I think what they're going to do is not only wait to cap them all at once, they're going to cap the siege camp first in the back. They're so that it lines up with when they cap the bruiser and other siege camps. So the bruisers basically tank Night for the siege camps because the core oh, can't hit the siege camps and this is going to be flow. huge for Penn State, especially now mm -hmm. we do see everybody from Indiana going in the bot side. I don't think Penn State needs to worry about plant terrors right now. They should just go for the win. They should just go for the two camps and go for it. Mm -hmm. By the time well, a plant would be ready. Oh my, look at... Is this going to be a base race? I don't think Indiana can win this, but Pensy has to make sure that they go quickly and go in for it immediately because Sylvanas, like, they can just all chunk it down so quickly and Indiana's going to go for it. This is going to no, be a bait. Actually, no. Indiana decided that they, maybe this is a bait. Maybe they wanted to bait in Penn State because now here comes Penn State onto the core. ETC is going to ult in and they're going to go for it. Penn State's already down to 50 core. 40 core. The core is going down really low and it's going to be Penn State going to win it. And that's going to be game one for Penn State in Garden Terror. 28 and a half minutes long. Penn State level 23, wow. Indiana level 24, 8 kills to 16. That it's might have been the game. best game of, of Heroes of the Storm I watched or played. Like, that was such a back and forth game. And even looking at the end, Indiana won in kills, basically. They had eight, twice as many kills as uh, Penn State did. 
It's just that Penn State had the siege damage, had the terrors, had the placements, and 